DIYs by Dar. And this week I am going to do a paint inlay on a lampshade. I'm going to use an IOD brand paint inlay and spiff up a lampshade. Here is my lamp. It was $10 total for the base and the lampshade. First thing is slick stick, two coats on the outside. I swear you could probably put slick stick on anything and paint it. It works really well and I'm just pouncing it on using a chip brush. Now you want a dark layer, any color. I'm using a coffee bean by Dixie Bell with the chip brush, one coat, and then when that's dry, some crumpled up craft paper, and I'm gonna use some patina paint by Dixie Bell in copper and bronze, and I am going to pounce a layer of this all over, and you may have to go back and do a second layer, when that's done, any color of turquoise, blue, turquoise, green, and you're going to tap that on. Once that's dry, go back with your metallic paint and pounce on some more and get the shape you want. While that's drying, I'm going to get into this lampshade. I taped off the inside to keep it clean. It is kind of silky on the outside and has fabric on it, so I am going to take some white gesso and give this a nice coat. While that's drying, I'm going to go back to my lamp and take some polycrylic and matte and just take a sponge and go over it with a couple coats to seal it and give it the protection that it needs. Now that the lampshade's dry, I have drop cloth Dixie Bell mineral paint and I am gonna give this lampshade a coat of that color. My paint inlay, I had to cut the border off and I cut it into sections because that lampshade still has a little bit of a tip at the bottom. So go ahead and get your layer of the same color paint back on there and then you will take your paint inlay and make sure that you put the paint side to your paint. Uh, ask me how I know that one. Um, get that on there and I really think it is like decoupage paper. Um, try to get it on there as flat as you can. No wrinkles uh, because if it's wrinkled it's not going to touch that surface and you're going to leave an area with no color. Spray it with some water, smooth it down, and then also um, take a rag and kind of sponge it on there. You could probably even use a sponge, but you wanna make sure that you have that um, paint inlay completely wet.
Now that it has dried, I'm ready to take off my inlays. And this was just a little section in the back. I had a small area I needed to cover. When you take that off, you have to wet it again and try not to tear your paper because you can reuse this paper a second time, sometimes even a third time. And I've seen people use the leftover pieces for actual decoupage paper. It kind of has that kind of patchy look anyway, kind of rustic. Just want to lay these out flat so they dry these sheets so I can use them again. Well, clearly something went on in these spaces here. And I have no idea what because... It has not happened on a lot of the other ones. So what in the heck did I do over here? Did I not put enough paint on it? I'm pretty sure I put enough water. It may have been the paint layer. Not really sure, but I can't leave it like that. That looks horrible. So you know the only ultimatum is to go ahead and try to put the sheet back over and see if I can get it to pick back up there. So I'm gonna suffer in silence and give it a try and when we come back on, we'll take a look at it again. Okay, let's see what happened. Well, I have a pattern. I guess it's better than nothing in there. There is the Marrakesh shade. Now, what I will do, because if you get any water on this, this paint will run. So, I will take it outside and spray it with some matte sealer and that way it won't run anymore and we'll get it on top of our lampshade and we should be good to go i didn't really want to paint this so i thought that i would just add some rope around there so i have the glue gun here and let's see if we can just get this rope attached
Okay, I would say this lamp is complete, guys. Please leave in the comments the reason why I didn't have that inlay pick up on them couple spots if you've ever had that happen before. That would be a great help to all of us. But here is my Marrakesh Boho Lamp. This is what I started with. $6 base, $4 lampshade. And this is what I ended up with. My next three videos go like this, a thrift flip and then two furniture flips for some challenges. So I want to take the time to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one.